It is a super exciting week here at the Milaner Institute uh, because we are going to begin learning mixed media. I'm so excited. It's, I've been waiting for this. Uh, I, I love oil and drying, but mixed media is gonna be awesome. So. I apologize for that. But it will be transformed by tomorrow because starting tomorrow we're doing like What's up guys? So earlier I started my first acrylic painting. I've never painted acrylic before and I was trying to paint it from my phone, uh, the, the source for my phone, and it was just not working. Uh, I got some of the proportions majorly off, so I had to restart pretty much completely after we got back from lunch. And uh, yeah, so I already kind of started that. Uh, I'll show you just what it looks like right now. So yeah, before I had the uh, proportions, I had the head ending up here. And it was pretty much the same width, but the neck was way too long. So right here, it's not very long at all. Yeah, what is These the are, ink made out of? Yeah, what is it? These are just acrylic ink, so... So they're all acrylics? Yeah. And then all of these, these little bottles are marble ink, so they're alcohol inks. Okay, so you can kind of like drop the ink, you can splash it, um, you can take your brush and like touch the edge, like swirl it around. And adding more water so that it's lighter. The um, high flow acrylics, I like to do like little drops like that and they make really cool effects. What up everyone? It is week seven of the Milan Art Institute uh, Mastery Program Intensio. Um, we are here with Hebe. How's it going Hebe? So good. Yeah. A really good day today. Yeah. We did, um, we topped up our acrylic paintings with oil. Cool. Really well. <laughs> cool, yeah. That's super awesome. I had a ton of fun. What was your favorite part? Oh, I think it was scumbling in acrylic and then adding oil on top. <laughs> cool, yeah. Let's go check out Hebe's painting real quick. Actually, we did two paintings this week. It was the first week that we've done two uh, paintings at once because it's mixed media. So, whoa, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's so cool. This is where I scumbled. And then this is oil. <laughs> I love the fun. gold that you left the gold there too. Yeah. Looks really cool. Thanks. This is one of my paintings with inks and acrylics. So that sums it up for inks um, and for the last two days. Thank you for watching. Uh, and I'm excited for what's gonna come. Mixed media is super fun. So there's different things you can do. You can of course just like, you know, freehand. And if you go close, it's going to be a small um, line. That's cool. Right? Or if you're far away, it's going to be a diffused line. So transparent. Once you've done that. Oh, there's transparent spray paint? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. So you can like, you know, do this. It is day 34. Four. Uh, I can't believe it's already almost the end of the week. Uh, it is our first week of mixed media again, and today we are doing spray paint. It's super exciting. Um, I'm. I can't wait to get started. Right here, you can see all of our. We just varnished with some gloss medium varnish all of our paper pieces. Uh, what's up, Luke? And then after it dries, um, we're going to start spray painting. So, super excited. Uh, in the meantime, we are going to be learning how to build a canvas here shortly from DJ Freezy J, master himself. There's a homemade canvas right there. Look at all the spray paint, isn't that just gorgeous? Isaac loves spray paint. He already has some of his own spray paint. Each other and I have two drills. So after I get this one, I'll be here to help you. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. Super cool. What's up, guys? It is already day 35 of the mastery program Intensio. I can't believe it. Uh, everybody's looks super cool. So basically we took the spray paint abstract that we created and um, we either had a source already or tried to find something in the source to create. So uh, this is what I have so far. This one's an eagle grabbing a snake right there. This one I started out completely abstract. It's super chaotic right now. Um, and then this one I started out with the source. <laughs> That's the other advantage of acrylic is you've got to like, you're going to slow down your process a lot if you like try to make it perfect in ink and get all the form there and just right. And then go to, and so you're stacking three complete paintings on top of each other. And by the time you get to the oil, it's like, well, you might as well just done an oil painting. I think we can. Today is a very exciting day. We are doing mark making. This is like an example of the Ellie did right here. This is just like showing some of the some of the marks and then she's just like showing us how to use the pigment and stuff. What is up guys? Um, we are doing mark making again today. It's the second week of mixed media uh, and I'm loving it. <laughs> I wish that I had more time to work on these pieces, but well actually we get a whole another day. So this is what I've have so far for my mark making. There's one of them. This is on a canvas that I built, as you saw before. We made these canvases ourselves last week. So there's one of them. Added some gold leaf there. And then this piece is just transparent. Um, transparent acrylics right now. It's super ugly, look at that, that's disgusting. But, that's okay, that's how it's supposed to be. What's up guys? It is an amazing day here at the Milan Art Institute. Um, I actually just sold a painting this morning, so pretty amazing feeling. Uh, I haven't taken a video in a couple days, um, but basically what's been going on is we've been finishing up mixed media. We did collage the last couple days, and it was super fun, um, but maybe not 100% my thing. I got a little crazy with the collage. Um, this is <laughs> what I have. I'm gonna paint out like all of this, almost. <laughs> gonna leave very little in there. I like the words. I'll probably work on this one a little bit more than this one, cause I like that. What's up everyone? It is, actually, I don't know what day or week it is. I lost count. So this week what we're doing is we're working towards portfolio uh, which is super exciting because you know we're finally starting to make sources and dive into you know our own personal voice and our own style and figuring out what our process is okay guys so it has been another month uh, at the Milan Art Institute mastery program Intensio and it's been incredible this last month I've learned such an amazing amount uh, I'm so excited I can't believe really how much I've progressed. Uh, I feel like this month has been really profound in me learning my voice. I've been selling more art, so that's really exciting. I love that. Uh, actually, this this piece right here, I just sold this morning, and I will be shipping it out next week. Uh, I sold it to a complete stranger too. It's really special, I think. Um, connecting with someone who I've never met before, who doesn't know about me at all, and hearing her story and how she related to it. What she said about this is that, uh, she said when she saw this, that it's her most favorite painting that she's ever seen before, and that she loves it so much, and it really, it melted my heart. I was so touched because it was just such a genuine story. She feels like this painting is her, and how people see her, and how she's, you know, and the, the title of the painting is Becoming, and she said it feels like this, this painting is her becoming her true self. 
And so it's really incredible that she's gonna be able to look at this painting every single day. It's gonna be on her wall and she can remind herself of what her true self is. So uh, I am really inspired by that and really motivated to start creating more and more art. What helped lead me to where I could get to that point was this little baby painting right here. <laughs> this is, uh, we did small scale realism um, about in the beginning of the, of the month, I'm pretty sure. Like now that I look at it, I can see a lot of like little things, but this painting right here helped me train my eye and to see like little, little details. Cause when you look at a picture, you think you notice everything. And on it, I mean, you, you notice a lot, but honestly, training your eye to see like an artist is one of the most difficult parts of the painting process. And so this painting right here, uh, going through it and getting my tiny brush out and really trying to nail down the small details that it accelerated my, it like projected me on such a higher learning curve. Uh, it made me learn so much just this painting alone. Another really monumental painting for me was doing the self portrait. It's pretty difficult, honestly, having to look at yourself and critically and look at all your proportions and paint yourself and you know I, I mean I had a lot of fun with it though at the same time like it was really difficult but then once I kind of got over that it was me that I was painting I just like went into my right brain and stopped focusing on who I'm painting you know myself. Before the program I didn't even know what the right brain was and uh, you know and with Ellie's help and her training, I really discovered how to step into your right brain. And I would not have been able to paint this portrait as accurately as I did uh, without going into my right brain because it's really hard to get over yourself, honestly. Like, when you're in your left brain, you're thinking critically, you're thinking about any flaws that you see in yourself. And all of that is, you know, you're hyper aware of it when you're painting yourself because you're going into the little details. So, you know, I'm really grateful for Ellie that she has been able to help me, you know, learn how to step into my right brain and teach me the nuances of what the right brain is. So this is the first acrylic painting that I ever painted in my life. Uh, and I'm actually, I'm really proud of it. Um, and one thing that I really love about the mastery program is that Ellie teaches acrylic painting after oil painting. Uh, and so, you know, as most people know, oils is much more difficult. When you're painting with oils, you have to take in consideration whether it's a warm or cool and a transparent or an opaque. So in acrylic also, it dries much faster. So I had a little bit of a learning curve with this one because the paint dries so fast that it was hard for me to be able to, you know, get down what my idea, like if I got down an idea, then I was like kind of stuck with that. But Ellie, what she taught me is that it's super forgiving at the same time because it dries fast. You can just go over the paint that you just painted with another, you only have to wait five minutes to cover over what you just painted and you can totally fix something. And really, I, I'm super excited about acrylic painting because it's a way to speed up your process. And I'm gonna be painting with mixed media oil for sure, acrylic, oil, spray paint. Um, and that's another thing that I learned this month is I learned all the different methods of mixed media. So I'm super excited to be able to incorporate that all in next month and when we're gonna be start learning, really diving into our voice and diving in to our, uh, our portfolio and creating a body of work that's cohesive and really sellable. Uh, so I think once I, you know, get more, uh, more of a portfolio and I have a website built and everything, I'm, I really believe now that I can have a truly successful art career. So I'm really happy to be able to share my process with you guys all um, in this video and this conclusion of this last month and uh, I will be continuing showing you all the process as I go along with live videos and my GoPro, you know, every daily, day to day. Uh, the nuances and every, everything that happens throughout the day. Hopefully I'll be able to catch some more funny stuff that happens. Uh, I'm, I usually, I start filming in the beginning and then I just kind of like get right into painting. So it's hard to get all the little funny stuff going on, but I'll try to capture some more of that interesting, you know, interactions between us artists and interview some more artists for you guys. Cause uh, everybody in the class is doing really amazing. It's incredible seeing everybody progress around me too. It's like, we're all growing together and it's like, we're, we're all a part of this amazing movement. It's so incredible. Uh, and so thank you so much for watching. I'm super excited for this next portion, building my portfolio and to show you guys all the process as it goes. So thanks for watching.